नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड व्यूवर्स आउट देयर यू आर वॉचिंग अज लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर फोर आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल यू आर वॉचिंग अज लाइव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैनल एंड लेट मी टेल यू द टाइटल ऑफ द सेशन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड स्टडी टूडे इन दिस स्पेसिफिक सेशन दैट इज इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल पॉम दैट इज बुक्स एंड वन स्टोरी दैट इज गोइंग टू बाय अ बुक एंड I am Renu Bhat and let's meet our expert. She is Miss Sobna Day. You are former school principal from CBSE. Very warm welcome, ma'am. Good afternoon. Namaste. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Or uh, before we begin this specific session, let me tell some certain information in case our students and viewers have any query or want to ask their questions to you, ma'am. Uh, dear learners and viewers, you can ask your query. You can call us on our telephone number that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. Either you can drop a mail at our email address that is dth dot class four at the rate ciet dot nic dot in. And before we begin this session, let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding India's G20 presidency. We are indeed very proud that India assumed G20 presidency and will convene the G20's leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023. A nation that deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions. for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudhaiv kutumbakam or we can say the whole world is one family so with that very important piece of information let's quickly start this session you are watching us live on e with your channel number 4 and ma'am let's come over to you uh, books is our uh, topic that we are going to learn today in this specific yes. session that it's a beautiful poem and as they say books are our true friend and best friend Correct. i would rather say yes, yes ma'am so what yes. exactly you have for our learners today ma'am yes yeah, so good afternoon once again my dear students today we are going to study unit 8 of your ncert english textbook mari gold now this unit 8 has a poem named books and there's a story called going to buy a book so i would request everyone to keep your uh, textbooks open and follow the book as and when i ask you to read so let me start children uh, i'm sure you must have all received some pocket money as gifts on special occasions maybe on a birthday or when you do well in your examination or any achievement of yours uh, no matter what it could be in sports or studies or at home a good behavior you must have received a small amount of money especially from your grandparents right uh, yeah uh, so ma'am Uh, hmm. considering you as my student of class 4 yes ma'am uh, tell me how would you like to spend this money if you are told to uh if i were the person i were the child ma'am i would like to save my money plus i would like to spend my money on food as i am very much foodie and i would like okay. to spend my uh, money on dresses as well okay So, so a part of uh, wants, a portion of that is money. Very smart. She wants to save a part of money. Uh, right. For money in a piggy bank, right, hmm. ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So many of the students might go and buy some toys or an ice cream, but how many of you would like buy a book? So yeah. So here you can see a gallery of books, a variety of books, books of all kinds, with pictures, with fiction, thriller, horror, ghost stories. So. How many of you would actually like to buy a book, ma'am? Would you like to save some money for a book? Ma'am, definitely. And even right now, I have a small library of my own, ma'am. Oh God! I have plenty nice. of books, ma'am. Have you? Oh, it's your personal library that you yes, are an avid reader. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, very good. So, students, you must also have your own library in your small little space at home. Now, here there's a book gallery. Means a number of books. you can select any book that you want a fairy tale maybe a thriller or a fiction of ruskin bond classic fairy tales you have books on encyclopedia books on jungle books on inventors history books so many so many and books are your friends who will never betray you so you can open it it's a gift you can open it again and again and again okay and when you read a book actually it's a window 
it hmm. opens a window to the entire world and transports you to a different world if it's a nature book you're there in the nature if it's a jungle book you're there in the jungle so that's how you know children it transforms your lives you can spend hours and hours and hours so here is a beautiful little poem which tells you how important it is to be friendly with books so i'll read and explain the poem to you come in come in said the library door it i opened it wide and saw books galore tall skinny books up high on the shelves little fat books that stood by themselves i opened one up and sat down to look the picture told stories what a wonderful book so on the library door it was written come in come in so it's a sign board which is written and when the door opened wide you could see a gallery or a wide variety of books there were books which were tall and skinny which were kept on top of the shelves and there were books which were little fat and they could stand by themselves they didn't need any support so i opened one of them and sat down to look the picture told stories what a wonderful book so each picture tells a story what a wonderful book now we'll quickly do reading is fun of the of this entire poem uh, what did the library door say the library door said come in come in did the door actually say no it was a sign board which is written on the library door it says come in come in what did the books in the library look like children books in the library look tall and skinny but not all of them there hmm. were books which were short and fat the tall and skinny books were kept on the top shelf and the books which were fat and short could stand by themselves and stood at the bottom why did the child in the poem like looking at the pictures child in the poem like looking at the pictures because they told stories so when the pictures themselves speak of stories how wonderful it would be so the children always select a book which has lot of illustrations lot of pictures now this particular story is written by uh, rukmini banerji and she has used wonderful illustrations for you to understand the story as well now here uh, listen to the words come in come in go out go out so these are the words signs that you usually see now what word signs have you seen or heard children suppose at home let us see at home usually we have welcome home you can hmm. have any sort of sign at a vegetable shop we usually see a sign board telling no bargain at a library we have keep silence please then at a doctor's place it's written smoking is injurious to health at a bus stop there are sign boards telling no parking and toy shop it's written have fun there may be others there's just hmm. an example to it, to uh, make you understand children now do you like reading story books ma'am has already said she has a library of her own so i i i can very well imagine ma'am how interested you are in uh, reading books that you have made your own personal library yes very ma'am good. i'm so happy to know about that so yes if you ask me i love to read interesting story books and i'm sure this answer is applicable to all my viewers to all my children they all must be very very in love with books what kind of stories do you like ma'am can i give you this question yes ma'am ma'am i would okay. rather say i like humor ma'am okay very good so i like reading comic stories and thriller hmm. stories okay and okay, i am since at this age i like thriller stories you know but children also would like you know their own panchatantra tales where hmm. they have some thrill okay they also have comics you know comics on different lives of great people so whatever is lot of illustrations and pictures children usually like such stories so ma'am they have these? beautiful message in it ma'am yes yes ma'am would you like to share it Ma'am, I I was talking about Panchatantra stories. They have very beautiful yes. stories, uh, message in it. Yes, yes, the yes. modern stories. Hmm. Each and every story is giving you a beautiful moral right. to be carried down throughout our life. Hmm. It is not only for children. At every stage of life, we refer to the morals 
written by the pan in the panchatantra stories so the the word galore means a great number do you have a class library or a school library we already know bhat ma'am already has her own personal library and she is proud of it and we are also proud of ma'am so and can you borrow books from your library so in the school library we have books and i suppose there are rules so you can borrow one book at a time and every week when you have your library period you can go to the store uh, the library with your teacher and change take another book and keep the book that you have already read so that is how you can have a proper book discussion with your friends so tell the class about the favorite story book which i already said you can review the book the character that you like most in the book and you have a very healthy discussion with your friends uh now children uh, there's a fun time activity given in your book what you have to do is you have to sit in circles and one child will start uh, with a book the name of a book the child will say and the other child will say the name of another book hmm. so that's how the chain will go and let us see you see that you if you are forming groups of 5 or 10 and let us see which group has made the longest chain of books and you get to know so many names as well now here we have some words it is on pronunciation children uh, the the alphabets given on top of each figure are the words that have to be filled in in the words with the starting alphabets and please concentrate on the pronunciation which is very very important now the first one which is in the well it is well shell bell spell and tell so with every letter we have added e double l which makes a new word the next we come to the word where we are adding a i l so the first word is tail mail trail and rail now down we see we have to add two uh, two alphabets that is double e we have c 3 b and 3 next we have to add double o k and hmm. makes a new word book look crook book. shook and brook so please say it aloud and listen to the your own voice and the pronunciation now there are there are sentences over here the one is done for you a library is a place where books are kept now let us see what these other what other sentences tell us like now fill in the blanks and read the sentences by filling up the correct word in the blank A dash is a place where aeroplanes take off and land. So an aero airport is a place where aeroplanes take off and land. A hotel is a place where food is cooked. A hospital is a place where sick people are taken for cure. A market is a place where you can buy things. And of course a school is a place children where you go to study every day. Now we are done with the poem. we are coming to the beautiful story which we will be reading and please concentrate on the illustrations in the picture itself you can see a bookshop so there is a bookshop where two small children are standing let's see what what are they going to tell us in the story are you ready yes yeah. ma'am going to buy a book one day grandfather gave my brother and me some money go and buy books he said we were both very happy we both love to read so the, there's a girl and a boy they are brothers and sisters so one day their grandfather gave them some money and he said go and buy books why did he say that because grandpa knew that these children love to read books and aren't the children looking so happy even the grandpa is happy giving them the money hmm. now there is a confusion so many questions coming in the mind should we go now Or should we go later? Should we go today, or should we go tomorrow? We decided to go right now. So many questions coming up: going now or later, today or tomorrow. So so much of excitement through these sentences. Again, confusion. Should we go to the big market, or should we go to a small shop? Should we go with somebody, or should we go alone? We decided to go to the small shop. and just the two of us so the confusion after confusion should we go to big market small shop go take somebody along with us or let us go alone final decision was 
to go to a small shop and just two of them. So see, we like the small bookshop. It is small, but it has many books. The man in the shop likes us. He always helps us. So they chose this particular small bookshop because it is small. Though it is small, it has many books, a variety of books. And especially the man in the bookshop, he likes them. And he always helps them choosing a book. Again, confusion. Should I buy a book with a lot of pictures? Should I buy a book with a lot of st stories? Should I buy a thin book? I could not decide. Now see the picture illustration. The, the girl is so confused. She's pulling this book, that book. She's got so many books in front of her. She's got pictures with a lot of books. Hmm. There are storybook pictures. There's a book on war, if you can clearly see children. Over here, down over here, war book, story book, picture book. And she's asking her brother. And the brother is holding her books on birds. And she couldn't decide. It was so difficult. Uh, <clears throat> Does this happen with you also, ma'am, when you go to a bookstore? Yes, ma'am. Quite a lot of time. Yes, we not like... want all of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we want also the same thing. Imagine we small children, even at this age, I get confused. Which book shall I take? Every book, each and every book is so uh, attractive. We didn't know which book to buy. The man in the shop smiled and said, Relax, come with me, he said. These books are about animals. So here he's showing the animal books. Those are about machines. And those over there are about wars. So here the Star Wars book is there. Take what you want. So he's helping us. Don't get confused. Now you think you want animal books, you want books on machines, or you just want books on wars. Decide what you want. I picked some books. My brother picked some books. I sat on the floor. He sat on the chair. We read and read and we read. Now here children, they had gone to buy a book. But now they have picked up some books. Means not one, they have picked up some. three, four books. Yeah. Yes. The boy is sitting on a chair. You can see a couple of books in his hand. Hmm. And he is so much engrossed in the book. And the girl decides to sit on the floor. She has spread all the books in front of her. And they started reading they read and read and read. It was very quiet. Nobody was talking. There was no sound. Pin drop silence. One exactly. hour passed. Ma'am, I'm very sorry passed. to interrupt you, but let me tell you that we have only four more minutes left for the session, ma'am. Yeah, I'll, I'll just quickly finish it. Finally, we knew which books to buy. So they were so engrossed in the book that they had no idea about the time that is flying. And they went on to the world that the books were showing them. So the man in the bookshop smiled at us. I got a fat book with many stories. And my brother got a big with many pictures. So they finally made a decision. The a girl bought a book with stories. And the boy buys a book with a lot of pictures. They ran home to their grandfather. And they climbed to his bed. Put his arms around. The, uh, and the grandpa put his arms around them. And we read and read and read. It's such a lovely scene. Children, mm. you must sit with your grandpa, grandparents, grandmother and read books. Tell them to read out to you and you should also read out. So today we are only doing the reading explanation as ma'am has said. But we will do the question and answers in the next session. But right now I'll, show, I'll tell you the moral of the story. The story, first of all, you must remember the name of the author. The name of the author is Rukmini Banerjee. <clears throat> With lovely illustrations, the book is, uh, the picture, the story is told to all of you. The moral is, children, that ch like children, we all are so excited to share even the shortest experience that we have. A simple thing like buying a book can be an experience to share. And the love for the book is so great and so intense that it motivates all of us. And I'm sure after reading the story today, you all will land up to a bookstore tomorrow to read more and more and more stories. And right. the love, the bonding between grandfather and the grandchildren is so beautiful, which which has we have no words to express the love and the Ma'am, actually, it's that. such a very beautiful relationship. Hey, ma'am, I just wanted to ask you a question. We are addressing yes, very young audience right now, fourth standard students, right? If yes. a child wanted to study more or he wanted to build a habit of reading books, 
which type of books or genre would you like to suggest them ma'am so that they can okay. start yes ma'am for the start children reading. at this age for the children at this age uh, there is a an essence called curiosity yeah so the children are curious to know about things you know so in a class of say 40 children there will be children who will be interested in you know motor cars hmm. you know so they can read stories on inventions okay but there there will be some some children who will be interested in birds insects wildlife so these children can pick up stories on you know stories of of wildlife maybe a, a book which is uh, written by ruskin bond hmm. which shows you the jungle life there will be stories of history children who love the stories of kings and queens they want to know more and more they want to know about monuments and historical places they can take any travel books so it is these are the books i can suggest but at this age pictures and pictures and pictures story a book with lot of pictures and illustrations with very little story written over there hmm. that will actually open the the minds of the children to right. know to know, understand more and more and more so that's what is my suggestion and thank you so very much for ma'am your suggestion and for your beautiful explanation about this uh, poem called named book and the story that is going to buy a book thank you so very much ma'am for being with us and for this wonderful session ma'am thank you thank you so much good afternoon and namaste all of you thank namaste ma'am and dear learner it's time for me to wrap up this session as we are running very short of time but before that let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding india's g20 presidency we are indeed very proud that india assumed g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation that deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudhaev Kutumbakam or we can say the whole world is one family. With that very important piece of information, allow me to wrap up this session here only but you stay with us on eVidya channels and on our NCRT official YouTube channel for more program. Me, Renu Bhatt is taking your leave. Namaskar.